Hey there, BZ people, and welcome back to the fourth episode of our Pokemon Yellow Randomizer Nuzlocke series. Um, if you missed last episode, you might want to go check that out. But we took out Brock, who traded his rockness for Pokemon, and he started using his brain. He's a psychic type trainer now. <laughs> Weird, huh? Um, <clears throat> And so we're going to keep going on. I'm going to try and make it at least two Mount Moon if we don't get, actually get into it. Uh, we're going to try and get three more members added onto our team. We'll pick a third member to add on. And um, so let's go ahead and first I want to ask you guys a question. My question is, what is your favorite anime if you like anime? Um, I'll get into this after. So we get the episode started a little more, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you who we have on the team. We only have two members on our team. We have Shinigami the Ghastly with 18 attacks, 17 defense, 31 speed, and 37 special. I really, really, really need to find some good TMs to put on Ghastly. Uh, we have one TM that we got from Brock. It is Leech Seed. I'm thinking about putting that on Ma Grizzly, who we will introduce in a second. Here we have Lick, Confuse Ray, and Nightshade. Um, it's a pretty good moveset. Nightshade affects normal types in this gen, which, you know, works out really well, considering our other moves won't hurt them, but they can't hurt us with their moves. Other member of our team is Ma Grizzly, the Kangaskhan, with 38 attack, 33 defense, 37 speed, 21 special, at level, uh, what are you, level 15, you have 58 HP, that's that's pretty good, I, I like that, um, he has the comet punch and the rage, which is kind of like our signature move for finishing off these battles, um, I, I really want to get the leech seed on Kangaskhan, depending on what else we find in this episode, um, because I think that if I get into a situation where I want to use Rage, having Leech Seed to provide some HP recovery would be a good um, thing to add on. But that's enough talking. Well, at least talking while standing still. Let's move. Okay, so we're taking on this guy. Hey, I met you in Viridian Forest. Does that mean I already fought you? Um, so yes, the question of the day is what is your favorite anime? Um, for me... I have a lot of animes that I really like. If I had to pick my favorite, uh, I believe it would be Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Um, I actually own all of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, including the movie Star of Milos. I own all of the original Full Metal Alchemist. Um, I've always been. I'm a big Full Metal Alchemist fan, and um, I'm not afraid to admit it. I clap my hands sometimes and pretend like I make things happen. Uh, if you get that reference, awesome. If you don't, I accidentally use Confuse Ray, and you need to go watch Full Metal Alchemist. Um, in my opinion, I would suggest watching Full Metal Alchemist, the original, first, because you get a lot of character development that... Um, some characters aren't developed as much in Brotherhood because the first half of or the first season of Brotherhood is an accelerated first half of the original show, and so oh he's got a Squirtle I love Squirtle um I guess I should pay attention oh that's a cool sprite I've never seen Squirtle sprite for Pokemon Yellow uh, anyway as I was saying uh, they developed the characters a lot more in Full Metal Alchemist. Uh, than they do in Brotherhood, so you f I'm not going to give any spoilers, but there are characters that um, you grow a much bigger attachment to, and you just, you don't feel as, like you like them as much, I feel, in Brotherhood, if you don't have that background from the original Full Metal Alchemist. Um, so yeah, I also enjoy watching One Piece. Um, I'm a big fan of pretty much every character on that show. Well, mainly Luffy, Zoro, and Sanji, which probably no surprise. But um, I think that uh, it's a really fun anime. Um, I actually had an idea that if I... 
I don't know if any of you have ever seen Dragon Ball Z, the abridged series. If you haven't, go check it out. It's hilarious. Uh, it's They're in the Cell Saga, and they're still coming out with an episode every month or so. Um, it's made by Team Four Star. But if I ever made a abridged series, I have an idea to do a one piece of bridge, but I would change the story so much. For one thing, I would use footage from Outlaw Star, and I would make Luffy be the uh, the ship, the Outlaw Star. Because, um, you know, the ship has grappling arms. And I would make Jean, the main character from Outlaw Star, into Usopp. He's a Captain Usopp. And Frankie's the little um, the little robot guy that talks to him. I can't remember his name, but I think that um, I could have a lot of fun with that. Um, I, I know it would be a lot of work to make it actually work, but uh, I'm pretty sure that it has the potential to turn out pretty gosh darn awesome. Uh, maybe if I get really ambitious and get tired of making uh, Pokemon videos, I'll um, I'll give that a try someday. And I think this Dratini maybe has us in a very bad position. Uh, we can't attack, and as long as he keeps using Wrap, he's going to outspeed us every time. So might as well use a potion. Oh, look, we would have had an opportunity to attack, but <clears throat> I think our best option here is to try and get this thing confused, get it working for us a little bit. Um, let's see here. Other animes that I enjoy. I enjoy Bleach. Um, more, most specifically, the first three seasons of Bleach. Um, after that, I think the show gets... I would have been perfectly happy with it ending where it did at the end of season three. I feel like they accomplished what they wanted to, or even if they just went straight to the th the final fight with Aizen, I would have been happy with that. I think it was way too drawn out. Uh, I think it's kind of silly that rap doesn't affect me, but I still can't move. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Uh, I apologize for all the coughing. I've been fighting a cold and to be honest, it's kind of kicking my butt right now. Um, but that doesn't mean I don't want to make videos for you guys. I'll just have to mute the coughs. Um, so, yes. Uh, and with Bleach, I feel like this show could have ended just fine when Ichigo lost his Shinigami abilities. Spoilers if you haven't watched Bleach. Um... I, I felt that was a satisfying end to it, that the hero gave up what made him special to save the world. Um, that's just me. What are your thoughts on it if you've watched it? Um, let's see here. Um, I've watched quite a bit of Fairy Tale. It's been a while since I've seen it. I really don't have time to watch anime anymore, sadly. Um, but Fairy Tale was pretty awesome. I love Natsu. Uh, and Erza, I think those are my two favorite characters in that show. Um, let's see here. I guess we'll face off against you, so we'll have people to come back and grind against. Um, let's see here. Other animes that I've really liked. Um... I can't think of any more off the top of my head. Um, so maybe, uh, when you leave your favorite animes down below, it'll remind me of more that I like. Like Trigon, which I just remembered. Trigon is actually the first anime that I ever purchased. Um, it's a space western, and the main character is just insane. Oh, and of course there's Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z is a great anime. Um, technically not an anime, but still somewhat considered one. Avatar, The Last Airbender, that is an amazing show. Um, it has 
lots of action. It's got great humor. Some people might say that it's a uh, more of a kid show. Let's get my grizzly out here. But um, I think this, the story is really great. I, I thoroughly enjoyed Avatar so much that I bought it. The whole thing. One summer when I was at camp and everyone... Well, I was working at a camp that summer and everyone that uh, stayed in the room with me, I think there was like four or five guys that we all roomed together at the camp. And um, yeah, we watched that entire thing all three seasons in like two days and our off time between work. And it's a great show. Uh, I've watched Legend of Korra. Not nearly as big of a fan of that as I am of the original. Uh, what's your opinion on that? Do you think Legend of Korra is so much better than uh, Avatar The Last Airbender? Um, it's just my opinion. I think the first season was better. But... Um, we have our... This Kabutops... Yes, the Kabutops is very tough to beat with fists. I think maybe I should switch back into Ghastly. Yeah, I think Nightshading this thing is a much better option. Because it uh, ignores defense. So, I don't know if I've mentioned before what I do for a living at the moment. But I work at in a call center at uh, an insurance company known as UMR. Uh, I take phone calls and work on claims all day. And then I get to come home and see my beautiful wife, Rebecca, who uh, we have been married for a year in, since Oct in October. Um, and we're actually coming up on our two-year anniversary of meeting each other at the end of this month which yes we got married very quickly no I don't have any regrets um, we're, we're very happy together uh, maybe if you guys can get enough likes I can convince her to come on the channel and say hi to you guys so um, and then after that I get to come in here and record videos and edit videos and I get to come and hang out with you guys I get to check out your comments respond to you you know and my weekends uh, they're a, they're a little less enjoyable um, my family produces maple syrup we're in the process of getting much bigger scale uh, and my dad is switching everything over to being on vacuum pump this year. So we are working on the third woods that we tap in, getting that set up with uh, lines and everything. And it is a lot of work. I really hope we don't lose our ghastly. Okay, I think we could take another one of those wing attacks. And I'm just going to go for nightshade because if we hit... I think we win. Okay. I risked my ghastly and it's scary. <clears throat> nope, nope, nope. Ma Grizzly. Ma Grizzly, you come out here and you just you rage against the Aerodactyl for trying to take Ghastly from us. City got me no <clears throat> No she got me no. <clears throat> just oh and you're faster. Awesome. Um, so you may have noticed we seem to be getting a little over leveled, which I'm sure the levels will catch up with us eventually, and this will just help us avoid having to do a lot of grinding. So let's go back and heal. I'm going to use a speed up button, if you guys don't mind. And we'll heal up. We'll make our way to Mount Moon and try and get some encounters at the end of this episode. 
So, busy people, I've told you a bit about myself. I hope you will respond in kind by leaving a bit more about you down in the comment section below. Um, have you guys ever had natural maple syrup? I mean, I can totally hook you up with some if you want. I mean, it wouldn't be free, but it's worth the cost. Uh, so, let's see, what else do I do? Oh, I walk right into trainers I was trying to avoid. I gave her an intriguing look. What video is this? Hmm. Or maybe it was... I don't know. I, I can't see what Red did. Or should I say Bork? Yeah, that's Bork. Bork did it. She is a Dragonite. I don't like Dragon-type Pokemon, so let's confuse him. I really doubt that Dragon Knight starts out with Rap. I don't want to... It does start out with Rap. Okay. That works. That works better. Uh, we need to get new moves on Ghastly. It, uh, it does not have the best PP pool, if you know what I mean. So, um, I started talking a little bit a couple episodes ago about my favorite authors, and I believe I was talking about my blog last time, so perhaps I should start keep talking about anime. If only I could think of other animes that I've watched. I've watched a lot. Oh, Yu Yu Hakusho! That was a fun anime. Uh, don't know if you ever watched that. It's kind of like, well, I heard Dragon Ball Z or Bridge or describe it as, I like Yu Yu Hakusho better, w or no, I like Bleach better when it was Yu Yu Hakusho, and I like Yu Yu Hakusho better when it was Bleach. Basically saying they're ripping ideas off of each other. And that Dragonite is moving very quickly now, and that makes me want to lick him. I licked the Dragonite. But uh, Yu Yu Hakusho, that is a very fun, very exciting anime, uh, as usual. Uh, one thing I've noticed about animes is the longer a character's hair gets, the more powerful he seems to get. That's true in Yu Yu Hakusho as well. You do not see that until end of second season, when the main character dies and comes back to life and gets taken over by his ancestor who was a demon or something weird like that and suddenly he's got like 10 extra feet of hair and he's nigh unstoppable um and i think you've noticed if you've watched dragon ball z that happens in there as well and i know i've seen oh bleach when uh ichigo undergoes his holification process in wake do mundo um, lazies with Dragonites. That's terrifying. But this might be the last battle we have to face before we start getting encounters. And I don't know why the Japanese associate long hair with power. I really wish my trainer had really long hair though. Okay, um, Clefable is a normal type, so I should not try to lick him. I am going to confuse him, or her, because, uh, confusion is good. And I was worried about this. No. No. No, stop. Scary, scary things happen. My Grizzly, make it go away. Oh, out of all the moves I could pull out, it chose Earthquake. Oh, that's two times this episode we've almost lost Shinigami. This is why being overleveled is okay. So we don't lose members to stuff like this, to random earthquakes going off in the middle of battles from pink fluffy Pokemon. 
Oh good, we can end this with Rage. The only question is, is this the only Pokemon my opponent brought? I don't remember. What is with this Clefairy getting super effective moves? I, I'm calling hacks. And Ma Grizzly missed. I, I, I don't like this. Mm -mm, not at all. I'm going Rage, and I'm going to regret it. Let's see. Please be... Oh, you do have another one. Oh, a Rattata. I'm not too worried about that. Not a level 11 one. I don't think he gets Hyper Fang until level 14. And he's trying to use Tail. Oh, quick attack. Yeah, I'm not worried about Rattata. He just gave me what I needed to destroy him. <laughs> oh yes, we're fine. Uh, we're so fine, we're, we're going straight to a Poke Center to get everyone healed up. What is with these preschoolers and their metronoming clefables? Seriously, it's just not professional. Okay, do you move? We're going around you. We'll be back. We have a few trainers to catch up with. Um, I know this episode is getting close to the mark where I wanted to cut them off. So I'm going to do my best to get these three encounters out of the way real quick. So first we'll heal up. And then we will go and talk to this guy. Hello there, I got a deal just for you. I'll let you have a swell magic card for just 500 Pokebucks. I agree. And we got another Execute? Oh, that is disappointing. I don't know if you're disappointed, but I am. Well, I guess if we ever put Execute on our team, we got a backup if we lose them. Uh, I wish this was Dupe's Claws, or that we'd done this first. Scrambled. We're numbers. I need numbers. Scrambled question mark. Well, let's go hope we get some better luck with our encounter down here. And then we'll snake one in Mount Moon quick. And we'll call it an episode. Oh, first step in the grass. The Pokemon knows we're in a hurry. And our encounter is an Alakazam that most likely has teleport. I gotta throw a Pokeball and hope it stays in. I don't think it is. We're not getting an encounter here. We... We missed? And what does Kinesis do? How am I... Okay, let's switch out into Mog Grizzly. It doesn't seem like he wants to run. And he ran. I had always heard there was a chance that you could miss with a Pokeball. I don't think I've ever had it happen to me before, and twice on the same Pokemon? Let's hope we get something a little better here in Mount Moon. And our final encounter for this episode is a Weezing! Uh, not exactly what I was hoping for, but I'll take it. It's good, it's good. It's, um, it's confused. I kind of wish I'd confused that Al Alakazam. Oh, having an Alakazam on the team would have been so awesome. Uh, place your bets down below. What do you think the first starter we have a chance at catching or acquiring will be? Uh, I'm actually curious to see what it could be. And if he hits himself again, that'd be great. He doesn't. I'm okay with that, too. Don't need potions, need to throw Pokeballs. So here we go. Can we end this episode with a nope, he broke out. Uh, huh.
You know, it's ironic. We're playing the Pokemon game, or a Pokemon game, and I haven't brought up the Pokemon anime, which I sadly have watched a little bit of. Um, I can only take it in short bursts, and eventually I started skipping for or through it for important episodes to stop skipping the silly in-between stuff. Okay, Weezing, we want you on the team. We'll let you join us, because you are an important member to me. But if you don't get in this Pokeball, I'm not wasting more money. <laughs> Weezing wanted to be a part of the team. Oh... What should we call wheezing? Wheezing. Poison gas. It lives and grows by absorbing dust, germs, and poison. Gases that are contained in toxic waste and garbage. Do you want to give a nickname to wheezing? We have to. It's a nuzlocke. Now, what is a good nickname for a wheezing? Poisonous, floating... I want to call him Tumor. Is Tumor a good nickname? I'll call him Tumor. To... Wait. Uh, this thing is so annoying. It doesn't always pick up my keystrokes. Tumor. That doesn't look right. That looks like Tummer. Well, you see what I'm going to nickname it. I'm going to go look up how to spell Tumor because I don't want another Shinigami on my hands. And um, thank you for joining me. Hope you enjoyed the All-Star match this weekend. Uh, that team is going to be with us for as long as this uh, Nuzlocke keeps going. I'm going to try and do two episodes per match from now on. Uh, just because I don't know how long we'll be able to keep this up. But thank you for coming out and joining me. Uh, leave a like if you like this episode. Leave a dislike if you like or if Alkazam getting away and Execute being the Magikarp was very frustrating for you. It was for me. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Tell your friends about this. And uh, don't forget, BZ people, Bork and Zim Gaming. It's fun for the whole family.